now this though responds in a disproportionate way in that patsy ran u s is not going to back them up they've already said so and then iran is going to respond with hypersonic missiles and then they will go break through the iron dome system israel has their so it's going to be worse and then people have to rethink their position and they'll realize that ceasefire is necessary that's what i think is going to happen you're ignoring the fact that hamas just rejected another ceasefire yesterday oh in the negotiations yes there was another ceasefire proposal hamas rejected because they don't have i think a lot of people the hostages are probably all dead they have nothing i mean it's what you said hamas would rather yeah hamas would rather but there's a hundred left hamas would rather die in glory than than no but you have to be precise when you talk about these things okay so hamas rejected a temporary ceasefire they want a permanent ceasefire yeah i know because a temporary ceasefire means the war will start again after the hostages are released is it i think it's i think it's better for there to be a six-week ceasefire than no ceasefire okay okay that's your position but that's not what the palestinians think they think that uh no except that they're they've got 70 percent popular support now amongst the palestinians yeah but their their popular popularity is declining most of them blame up until now it's been increasing also um so i read an article yeah uh hamas actually it they they uh have admitted to inflating the numbers yeah somebody said something about that yeah so i can give you the details if you want but basically to sum it up a lot of them were they were undocumented and uncounted for they admitted that like they don't have any actual information um and uh I would hope so, so that it would mean that less people were killed. Yeah, good. But so the real numbers they said is around twenty-two thousand. Then, even then, they still don't differentiate between dead militants and dead uh, and dead uh, civilians, which you already agreed with last time. So the number is nine thousand, if you trust Israel, which I do. So that's okay. So it's very reasonable. There's another thousand who are unaccounted for, who are buried. And probably dead, right? Okay, that's one. Two, what they call terrorists, you know, terrorists killed, includes the uh, police, includes um, civil servants, and includes health workers, because they say they're all Hamas. Just like they say UNRWA is all Hamas. Okay. So you kind of include those other three categories, you know, in terms of, you know, what's called terrorists. So, and they stated an intention you know, has been genocidal. From four ministers in the cabinet have stated their genocidal intent. And what's their... What so their I, I take them at their word because they're doing it. Yeah, but how is, how is, how is at most maybe like 10,000 dead civilians of genocide? I know it's technically not about the numbers, it's about the intention. But there's been no I don't show care. explicit I don't saying we what want they to are. kill the Palestinians. There's been, there's been like 40,000 killed There's been like now. vague statements about like, what are the, what's the, like the ancient enemy Malik. Oh yeah, Malik. Like, there's been vague statements about that. But they're like the leader of the world. Statements aren't policy. When you look at the actual, he's not the power. He uses it. I mean, we all don't, we all don't like Bibi, but I mean, you know, they, they're still cutting off the food. You know, the population still oh, starving. Oh, and also, uh, didn't worry, and water, right? Huh? You, you think they're cutting off water too? They said that they were. Well, um, so... Galan, the, the minute defense minister said he was going to cut off everything. Well, it's not a, it's not a punishment, though. That's the that's problem. A lot of people are just saying it's collective punishment. I uh, did more research into it. Basically, uh, Gaza gets most of its water from desalination plants, right? Um, no. No. The, it's a, well, the, not anymore. They've been the bombed. Yeah, but uh, they used to. Before the war. Maybe. Most of their water, I, I don't yeah. know. It, okay, well, was, I know this because I... I that got, yeah, that's I, interesting. Um, I didn't... I thought... I knew about desalination so plants in Israel. Because, but, you know, because of various factors, including, like, ba- like bacteria and, like, the pipes not working because, like, Hamas take them out so they cannot build rockets. A lot of the stuff contributes to the fact that most of these don't work And what, pe- what people are saying is Israel is preventing water, uh, water from being drinking being able to be drinking in Gaza because they're not fixing the desalination plant, which I don't think is their responsibility. Maybe, maybe, maybe Hamas did train their, like, the 15-year-olds to yeah, be plumbers. I'll, I'll, I'll look for that information. You know, I don't support Hamas, but, you know, I, I haven't heard anything to that effect. 
But I wanted to ask you something about the synagogue yes. that you're responsible for, because you know I have uh, a number of comrades in um, in Phoenix, Arizona, yeah. of the Jewish Bund, and uh, they set up their own synagogue, and and it was like a reconstructionist uh, synagogue, but they went what further. What are you doing? You're here every day. Don't you have a life to go to or something? Every Sunday. Yeah. Why? Yeah. Bro. Because Hi. the war is continuing. Hi. So what do you expect me to do? <laughs> to have fun? I can't have fun. Hi. Hi. Go somewhere else. I'm good. Like, How are you? Honestly, just standing right there, like. <laughs> Do something else with your life. I'm sure you have something in your life, a family or something. Do something else. I'm doing everything. I even did my doctorate in political science. What are you doing around here? Yeah, we are going to do like a. Oh, good. But our the congregants got here late and they're doing a thing, so we're we're changing it. Oh no. That's okay. That's okay. They got their money, so it's all. Thank you. Have a good one. See you soon. So yes. they called their synagogue Reconstructionalist. They added two letters in there because they weren't, you know, recognized by the Reconstructionist Federation. Yeah, well, that would make sense. Mm. Yeah. So what happened on uh, May 29th of 2019 is, you know, they put on a gay marriage. Mm -hmm. Okay. And there was uh, 27 of them, you know, with the families and the children. And the local Nazi came and killed them. And five of my comrades were killed. Oh my God! And this is not recognized by the Reconstructionist uh, Synagogue Federation. Well, it's not a Reconstruction Synagogue. No, no. it's not. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's interesting. So, the movement actually is pretty diverse. I mean, this I think would be Utterly. outside of it. Yeah. But we have people who definitely are very far left. Yeah. Uh, the, the Reconstruction movement is officially progressive Zionist, but you know, there, there's there are there's one rabbi that who started an anti-Zionist synagogue, uh, but it's not Reconstructionist, so you can't have an anti-Zionist synagogue that's Reconstructionist officially. But there are some rabbis, but... Okay. Yeah. But I mean, listen, you know, I... As, but as, but, but uh, the, uh, the writings of the uh, comrades, uh, I, I, I collected them, and, and also got some affidavits on the, uh, on the massacre, and I published it as a book. No, oh, really? Okay. It's on the online at I mean, academia.edu. Socialism, mm -hmm. socialism is, I think, something I support. I mean, my uncle from Winnipeg, uh, who, oh, he yes. was a huge, I think huge right. Jewish socialist. And where Tommy Master Douglas. Sergeant, yes, Tommy Douglas. Tommy Douglas saved me. But no, socialism... I would have been dead three times if I was an American because of the healthcare system yeah, in Canada. But it's socialism, wonderful. I think, uh, I mean, it's, I don't think socialism inherently believes in in what you believe, I think it's uh, well. The Jewish Bund did. The Jewish Bund, well. And my mother so was a Bundist from Warsaw. However, you know, as we joke as Reconstructionist, ra re Reconstructionist rabbis, you know how Christians have a what would Jesus do bracelet on? You know, so the idea of Judaism is that, and the idea of Bundism, Bundism, or socialism is it has to meet the needs of modern times. And you know, Mordechai Kaplan, the founder of the Reconstructionist movement, if he came back today. He would, he would say, what the hell are you guys doing? You know, gay marriage, all this. But he would say, well, if this is the needs of the moment, then I, then maybe this is, we're supposed to evolve, we're supposed to learn. And, you know, I think socialism, if, if the socialists of the 1940s or whatever came back and they saw what was happening to Israel, you, I mean, I don't well, know. The reason why socialism and, Bund and Buddhism evolves just like everything else. Uh, yeah. Yeah, well, yeah. No, but, not, well, yeah I mean, but Buddhism... It, it, was uh, fundamentally differentiated, you know, from the communist movement. Of course, you know, yes. I mean, the Bund was even expelled, you know, from the Russian Socialist Democratic yes. Party when the Communist Party was set up by Lenin. But where did it say? Lenin had very nasty things to say about the Bund. Yes. Even though course. the Bund was thirty-five thousand members, and and the communists were only, you know, like eight thousand. Yeah. So, you know, uh, and and so, you know, uh, but the Bund was the one that defended, you know, the uh, 1905 revolution in, in, in Russia. They were the ones, you know, were fighting off the fascists oh, of course. in the street. Of course. Yeah. And then later they were put in jail by Stalin. Oh, no, listen, so I get that. But, uh, I mean, confronting Israel in this way, I don't think was part of what it, that's not what the, it was founded on. And then and they wrote about this, the problems of Zionism before the Holocaust, even they said it was, you know, not Jewish. Zionism doesn't come from Judaism. Zionism comes from Protestant Christianity. 
which declares that the place where the Jews is over there and not here. Sure. Well, we can't because they call this a Zionism, Christian... When, Zionism, I, when I'm arguing yes. in favor of Zionism, I don't, I don't make any religious claims. I don't think we can say we're, we have the right to be in Israel because like the Torah said this. I'm not going to make that argument. The Torah said No, but Zion... Yeah, that's that's hello, hello. Do you have a chance to put on film today? I did with Mendel, yes, already. Very good. And, and gentlemen? Uh, yes, thank you. <laughs> and and, and uh, I wore my chitras today, too. Very good. Too. Okay. Thank you. Thank you.